But you know why he probably has it on? Because he's got a general release shirt on. Is a hazard? Yeah, yeah, yeah. Oh no, oh, 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 oh. Huh? And he brought a crown. Yeah, he did. <laughs> Woo! I wanna be sedated. I wanna be sedated. Government News Channel in holographic high definition only on the Wide Band Network. And now, Dante Edgewater. Good morning. I am Dante Edgewater, and you are watching the WGNC, the World Government News Channel, live from our world capital in Kingston, Jamaica. And we would like to wish you all a glorious mood day. We dedicate our broadcast to a 50-year look back, when Eddie Van Eddie brought us a simple household product responsible for unity, emotional liberation, and most importantly, world peace. Term active. Shortly after receiving the patent for its innovative product, Eddie Van Eddie joins forces with billionaire Ronald Trump to bring Term Active to the public. By 2009, not only had it dominated the market, it had become a cultural phenomenon. Barnetti was at his peak. He soon became a household name. Trump soon became trillionaire Ronald Trump. And then, the devastating mix-up. Consumers began combining the autumn and spring blends. Ignoring clearly placed warning labels, the product created a permanent genetic shift in the hair follicles. Hair became an honest reflection of human emotion, and the initial reaction was red, setting the stage for the trial of the century. I knew all along that my client would be found innocent. The Food and Drug Administration does not require testing on cosmetic products. So, this morning, yes, justice was served. Thank you. God honest truth is, my product does exactly what it says it does on the label. All you have to do is read. Why am I responsible if you don't want to read the warning label? How can you live with yourself? I'm not sleeping. You run my life! The death of Van Eddy seemed a physical representation of his declining corporation. Chump, always the entrepreneur, repackaged the shun technology for the US government. Law enforcement made quick use of New Corp's technology. Put your hands up! Put your hands up! On the ground! On the ground! Get on the ground! Put your hands behind your back! And that was the social shift. The criminal mind had no hiding place. The prison population fell dramatically because mood became an option for early release among nonviolent offenders. Crime became near non-existent in the U.S. All across the nation, state prisons closed their doors. The system finally rendered obsolete. Louisiana State Penitentiary was the last to close in 2013. Preventative crime tactics were optimized for use of term active. During her second term in 2014, Using mood social impact as a model, President Hillary Rodham Clinton sought a solution to the intensifying Middle Eastern conflict. And as every school child knows, 
Clinton's weaponized spread of mood through suspected terrorist hotbeds had lasting environmental effects. Mood became global, bringing us to our current post-insensitivity world. And on that, we'd like to wish you all a glorious mood day, and we now go live in Orlando to Brittany, where the albinos are staging another protest. Get that camera out of here!